Hey everyone, it's Drew from Top City Gear again. And uh, today I just want to show you a couple pieces of gear that uh, as of late have increasingly becoming uh, my favorite uh, concealed carry option. And uh, that is the uh, Keltec P32 and the uh, Remora holster to go with it. And uh, together uh, they really make a very nice uh, compact and, and lightweight just just handy and super easy to conceal a carry option. Now let's take a closer look at these two pieces. Uh, if you can see on the holster, it's got all those little rubber dimples or nubs on them that actually do the grabbing, uh, the friction grabbing, uh, whether you've got this in your pocket or in the waistband. And that's basically what keeps this holster in place. Now the gun itself is actually pretty tiny as you can see. Uh, just at its widest point I think it's just just right around three quarters of an inch right where the uh, the slide pin goes through there. This one's a little rough. I need to <laughs> clean it up a little bit. But uh, it's not exactly a museum piece. It's, it's an everyday use item. So uh, one thing I did notice is that uh, you can see right here you can see that circular pattern there that's where the the holster rubs some of the finish off there so I imagine that's probably just more the fault of the gun with an uh, inexpensive finish but you can see where that that seam would would sit on there now uh, just to kind of get an idea of how big this package is or how small it is or really you know here is you know your normal size credit card gift card you know of course it's bigger than that but not not a whole lot and I got a CD here you can cover a good good part of that uh, here's an iPhone you know, not much bigger than that and then uh, if you want to compare to a Ruger SR9C some of you may have that you might be able to get a a good idea there. That whole package is is shorter and actually slightly you know shorter this way and then maybe just slightly shorter that sticks out a little bit but and uh, the whole holster and everything on on the Keltec here is about as thick as the the SR9C maybe just maybe even still a little bit thinner definitely a lot lighter and then just for fun why not show it next to the next to the judge this has got the three inch barrel and the three inch chamber by the way so it's a little bit longer than some of them but still diminutive compared to the or the Keltex diminutive compared to the judge there now as for weight put this baby on the scale here you can see with the gun and the holster, the magazine, and the eight rounds that the P32 holds uh, total as compared to the uh, 3AT or the, uh, the Ruger LCP, which only holds seven since it has the 380. You can see with all that, still only weighs 11.3 ounces so you know way less than a pound quarter quarter of a pound less than a full pound I guess that'd be three quarters of a pound for you math majors out there uh, so I mean it's it's about like nothing uh, if you've got it in your pocket or your waistband uh, now why don't we take a look and see what it actually looks like uh, in in a carry mode I'm not trying to say that the Keltec P32 or the 380 or the Ruger LCP uh, are necessarily the the best guns out there. I'm just trying to convey uh, how easy they can be to carry, and you know how convenient, really. And with that being said, why don't we play a little game of find the gun? <laughs> now, somewhere on me, in the waist area, knee up. I've got a gun on me, the Keltec. Now see if you can 
take a look and see where it is. Now even if you do see it, uh, you know, you're really looking for it if you're watching this video, so uh, the average person would not, in public would not really be uh, looking for it and probably wouldn't see it, but uh, if you guessed right pocket, that is the wrong answer. Those are simply keys in there. Okay, actually, it's in my left pocket. I actually kind of like pocket carry. I I think it's real convenient. It uh, I like having a gun handy. You know, it's not. Uh, you know, I can I kind of keep an eye on it, sort of. You know, kind of in the waistband behind the back. Sometimes can make you a little self-conscious or worry about someone coming up behind you, whether or not they see it or if they do see it, are they going to grab it? But but anyway, in the pocket, it actually it actually fits really nicely. And um, you know, there's a little bit of a bulge there, but especially with cargo shorts, the uh, if you've got a cargo pocket there, it kind of breaks up the outline a little bit. And if somebody does see that bulge, they probably just think it's a, a wallet or a, you know, cell phone or something, just because of how how thick the or how thin the gun is. But there's a little bit of a bulge there. There's the grip there, and then the top of the holster there. But but really, it's not that bad. Now, if you did want to carry it in the waistband, uh, that, that actually works pretty well, too. I will turn around here and tuck it in. I like to camp mine a little bit, just so the grip, just the grip is sticking out at that point. Now you can lay your shirt over it, and, and really it, it pretty much disappears and this is a this is not a real loose shirt either I mean and it's not terribly long so if, if you had a, a looser shirt that was also a little bit longer you know it uh, it's gonna hide it even better as you can see especially with my <laughs> love handles there it really sucks it in and, and hides it well but uh, you know also makes it nice and easy to draw at that point and uh, if you did want to carry it in the front that works good too I'll just to give you an idea here it is right there and when you really you're really not going to notice that most likely you can see, you know, a good, you can have a good portion of the holster uh, sticking out. So if you get in a seated position, it doesn't dig into your leg as much. And uh, it still conceals nice. It's easy to get out. And, uh, you know, it's not, it's not going to come out of there. <laughs> see, it's pretty pretty nice and secure in there even though some of the holsters sticking out you just got that bottom half holding it but overall I mean this thing can go about anywhere and uh, most likely nobody's gonna notice it now not counting things like uh, caliber and uh, you know number of rounds things like that about the only downside I can find to this setup um, you know more related to the functionality uh, of the pieces is that sometimes um, it, you can get can be a little bit hard to draw out of the holster it more has to do with the angle or the direction of force you're pulling on the gun if you pull from the bottom and kind of go up like that that's an exaggerated motion but you know if, if all the por force is at the bottom of the gun it kind of want to hangs up around the trigger guard oops sorry about that wants to hang up around the trigger guard and it can be hard to pull out now if, if you pull it straight out you know it just comes right out so you will want to be aware of that uh, Remore also makes a uh, what they call an Artemis cut which is going to be uh, a little bit of a slimmer profile on the probably more about like that on the holster so that would probably have a little bit of the trigger guard exposed and a little less material right there 
and uh, is not probably wouldn't hang up as bad. And I've got one of those on the on my uh, Ruger SCR, or I'm sorry, Ruger SR9C, and uh, it just comes right out. So just a little notation there, but really it's it's not that bad. And uh, most times you just find that scenario when carrying in the pocket if you're having a waistband it's usually not not a big deal so uh, other than that uh, you know if you're if you're somebody who does carry concealed and you don't already have one of these uh, small guns uh, and holster you might want to try it out I mean it's if, if you're used to the bigger guns and you know sometimes it just seem a little less convenient uh, this really could be a way to go so and they're about as inexpensive as it can be too so hope that helps anybody out there considering what uh, what they want to carry and uh, thanks for watching and stay prepared